Well, I find that there's always room to learn and grow and improve. And I definitely think that um, there were some great facts shared, uh, some different myths dispelled, lots of interesting information. And I think everything, um, just like everything else on this island, I think it comes down to balance. The right amount, the right ships, I think it will be good for everybody. But you have to find the balance. And this cru cruise line opened the door, let everyone in, wanted to share information, show us how it's done. Very impressive recycling and things like that. So I think there's definitely a lot to learn, room to, room to grow, room to improve. You, you did ask the question about leaving trash on Bonaire. Yes. Uh, yes. I was very happy to hear that because if you read through some of the different things on the internet, they talk about how the ships are coming here and leaving their garbage behind. But they clarified this specific line, Carnival Cruise Line, and its other brands, Ada Vita. Uh, they do not leave any garbage in Bonaire. They take everything back with them wherever they go, whatever, wherever they land to their port. Um, but they leave this specific line of cruise ships, leaves no garbage in Bonaire, which I think is a win-win. Um, did this change your way of thinking about uh, cruise ships? I, if anything, I mean, I feel, like I said, it's possible with balance that the community can come together and have a good solution for everyone, a good balance um, as far as carrying capacity and what can we handle and continue to allow ships that take their waste and do the best things they can, for example, for the environment and allow that kind of uh, traffic versus other ships perhaps that don't have the same capabilities or facilities on the island. I don't know what the other lines carry or have, but um, I was very happy to hear that they do take their garbage back with them.